Okay, row number two, and this time we're uh, starting the row with the metal because remember that we turned on knitting. So row number two is that you're going to, let me get this out of the way a little, you're going to knit, do not take it off your needle, bring your yarn to the front, purl that same stitch, do not take it off your needle, bring your yarn to the back, and knit. So you made three stitches into one stitch. The next three you are going to purl those three together. So let's go and purl them together. Again, you are going to knit do not take it off your needle, purl, and yarn to the back and knit that same stitch. Now you can take it off your left needle and you have three stitches into that same one and then bring your yarn to the front and purl those three together. Let's do that again. You are going to knit and bring your yarn to the front purl and then bring your yarn to the back and knit that same stitch. Now you can take it off your needle and you purl the next three stitches together. So that same sequence, you alternate it and do that the whole row. Let's do that again. Knit, purl, knit, and purl the next three stitches together. And that's it. You repeat that the whole row and I'll see you when I get to when I finish this row. I finished my round with uh, purl three together. So now the next round is going to be only knit the whole round all the way around. So only knit And I will see you when I finish all the way around. I finished row three, which was only knit. And now we're going to bring the yarn to the front. And the, the row number two, you started by knit, pro knit, the first stitch. This row you are going to start by purling those three stitches together because we want the bubbles to be alternating. So purl three together. Let's get that out of the way. Now the next stitch you knit, purl, knit, and purl those three stitches together. Again, knit, purl, knit, purl those three stitches together, and so on. And so I'll see you when I finish the end of this row. So you're going to start seeing your bubbles on the other side, which is very pretty. You see it stretches down and it gives it a nice form. And so now I can see that my piece measures 8 inches. 
And then if you don't have a head, you can use a vase like this. See, as long as it stretches down, if you don't have anything this big, maybe like a pot or a lampshade or whatever you have at hand, as long as it's, uh, you know, it's kind of flat on the top and you can measure it from the center to where you're at. So, and then you're going to start with your ribbing. And let's do that. Okay, we're still working on the wrong side of your hat, the inside. And what we want to do for the ribbing is we want to knit two and then purl two together and purl two together. So that's the repetition. Let's do that again. Knit two and then purl two together and purl two together. Again, knit two, purl two together. and purl two together and you do that the whole round and you're, you should be even but I'll see you when I finish this round. Okay I did my first row of ribbing and I ended up with 80 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and knit the length of the ribbing that I want which is going to be about an inch or an inch and a half and I will see you then but you know keep going so knit two and purl two let's see so metal with metal and the same as we did knit two and purl two There's no together anymore, so just knit two and purl two. Okay, so I did my knit two, purl two, 80 stitches around, and I did that for eight rows, and this measures almost one and a half inches. Knit two stitches. And every time you knit, let's take that one away, every time you knit, you're going to put your left needle in front of those two that you knitted, and you're going to knit them together through the back. So now we're going to purl, so purl that one, and then bring that left needle to the back, so every time you purl, you put your needle in the back and purl them together. So the next one is a purl. You're going to purl it. Put your left hand needle in the back and purl them together. The next one is a knit. You're going to knit those together. Put your needle in the front and knit those two together through the back. The next one is a knit. Knit that one. Put your left needle in the front and knit those two together through the back. So the next one is a purl. You purl that one. Put your left needle in the back and purl them together. The next one is a purl. Put your left needle in the back and purl them together. And so on. You knit, put your left needle in the front, knit them together through the back. The next one is a knit. Put your left needle in the front, you knit them through the back, 
and then the next one is a pearl put your lap needle in the back and pearl them together and so on and let's do this a whole row and I'll see you when I finish doing this okay so I finished my round of bind off of the flexible bind off see how pretty that is because it really is very flexible so uh, before you cut your yarn please try your hat on because if you need any alterations or take off the last row to, to weave in this yarn through that first one that I bind it off so let's go and find that it. it's this one here okay so I pass that stitch over bring it back and put it toward the inside so like that I can create a new stitch there and it doesn't show now you can weave in, you can make a little knot there. There we go. And now I can weave in my ends. And then I can weave in also the one inside. Remember where we where we started. We need to weave that one in. And I think I'm going to make a band around it because I really would like to have it look, you know, like a vintage cap, something like that. So. I think I'm going to make a, a knife whatever you wish to use and, uh, and I will show you how it looks when I finish so this is the way it looks right now let me get this a little bit farther this is the way it looks now I think I'm going to do a knife cord and put it around there and I will show it to you in a minute I finished my eye cord and it's 40 inches long and then I tried the hat on and I made a bow on one of the sides. I used one of these gadgets, see the, these little things? And they sell them in many places. And this one has five pecks and I kind of liked it because it makes it a little bit thicker. Anyway, you use this and with one of these little things so now you can you can use a ribbon you can put a ribbon around the hat also and that will look nice also. so now I have it around my hat and what I want to do is that I want to take some pins see these pins don't have the coil it doesn't get attached and I want to put my pin through several parts of my hat because I want to sew it so it doesn't slip off so sew it in different places of your hat and like that it stays in place um, take some pictures of it with it on me and like that you can see how to wear it and There we have it.